up? This is Long Ashes. And with me as always is the Ashtray. Ashtray. Huh? What's up? <laughs> and this week's uh, beer review is the April Hop by Dogfish Head. Yes, that's right. We're finally reviewing a Dogfish Head beer. Uh, it's too good to be true. Very expensive beer. But an eight ninety nine or eight forty nine for a four pack. Yeah, eight ninety nine a four pack. Man, that's some expensive stuff. Uh, this is an India Pale Ale brewed with uh, real apricots. It says it's their spring seasonal, and it's actually uh, been brewed since two thousand and four. And it's seven uh, percent ABV, and it's got a uh, fifty IBU bitterness units, and they scored a B plus on BeerAdvocate.com. So, uh, according to this, uh, it's an American IPA, and it's brewed with Pilsner and uh, Crystal Malts massively hopped in, the, in a continuous fashion. The flavor is complemented by the addition of apricots. It's one of their most popular uh, seasonal beers that they have, and they brew it each spring. So, uh, it sounds pretty good. Yeah. Did you take a smell of it yet or anything? Or? Oh, yeah, I took a smell of it. It, it, it smells like the... Uh, <laughs> I think you might have taken a drink too. Huh? Uh. Uh. It smells like the, uh, you can really get a strong smell of the presence of the hops there. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's definite. And then the other thing that's uh, it noticeable. It's like a butterscotch smell to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit. Uh, mm, it smells good. It smells really good. If yeah. you like, uh, you said you've never had it. I've never had an apricot before. I have no idea what an apricot tastes like. This is like liquid apricot with hops and alcohol. It's sweet. Yeah, so we're like in for a treat. Like alcohol. All right, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in now so we can, uh, so Ashtray can do the pour. All right. And you just got to uh, move over a little bit. There you go. And uh, talk a little bit about the pour. As it's going in, what, what color it looks like as it's going in. Sure, it's like a uh, coming right off the bottle into the glass. It looks like a goldish color, but as soon as it hits the glass and hits the base of the glass and starts to fill, you're getting like a, a little bit of a, almost like a, it's still goldish, but you get almost like, like a little reddish tint to it. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's actually looking really good as it's coming out. Yeah. And this really one, good. this one. I've actually got probably uh, about just over a finger head on it. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Just over a finger head on it. Yep. So this is what this is what it looks like when it hits the glass. Pretty tasty looking. Look. Oh yeah. Looks really good. Lots of uh, there is a decent amount of carbonation going on. Oh yeah. There. Tons. Tons. Yeah. Not much head on mine. But. Mm, the hops just open up when it gets poured into the glass like that. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell the presence of the hops in this. This is gonna be it's making me uh, salivate here. I think we need to take a drink. I thought that was me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. And folks, we have a holy grail. Mm. <clears throat> this is an excellent brew. Uh, it's lots it's, of hops. Yeah, very very strong. Uh, you get that from Dogfish Head, and very strong and uh, lots of hops to it. Mm. You get that apricot taste. Uh, really excellent, excellent brew. Uh, very easy to, to distinguish. It automatic for me. It's a it's going to be a, a holy grail here. I'm totally happy with the beer. Nice, great taste to it. Uh, you know, I'll, in the past I've said I don't like the hops, but with this. This is actually a really good mixture. Maybe so, with the fruitiness along yeah. with the hops. I think it's a, a, a really you're a pretty good one. fruity person. I knew that was coming. <laughs> you're so oh! predictable now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I gotta change my shit up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Holy Grail too. You go with Holy Grail. Uh, the price is a little kind of hard hitting. Eight ninety nine for a four yeah, pack. Yeah, eight ninety nine for four of them. You know, Dogfish Head. I love them. They're my favorite brewery. They got a lot of good stuff. They are pretty expensive. I usually don't gravitate towards Dogfish Head all the time because of that reason. Even though I will say they are my favorite brewery. I think they brew probably about the best beers out there. 
but that price, pretty killer. I think maybe like, uh, I usually pick these up if I'm going camping or something, like a special occasion, I'll usually grab them. Uh, like an every every week type of beer, you know, if you have like a, an occasional beer with maybe like a cigar or something else. I, I don't know if I see myself picking this up all the time. It's definitely like a treat, you know what yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, it's, it's kind of like, well, you know, tonight I'm going to get together with some friends. We're going to have a cigar, maybe watch a movie, have a good time, and I want to enjoy a nice nice uh, beverage with my with my cigar or movie or just movie if you're not a cigar smoker. And th that's where you pick something up like this. I mean, you're paying for quality with this. This is an excellent movie. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. I mean, well, I'll pop some popcorn and have some uh, apricot beer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Actually, they they had food pairings on the site. It's kind of a weird food pairing. So it's like salads, swordfish, Mexican dishes. All the pair with this. Yeah, drink barbecue and hummus. <laughs> hummus. <laughs> it says in a pint glass. And uh, the tasty notes is fruity, citrusy, cedar, and thirst quenching. Well, I think even if you're eating a ham sandwich, man, no matter what you pick, you know, you could you could eat, pick a three-day rotten uh, freaking tuna fish sandwich out of the trash and drink some of this. I mean, and this you, stuff's awesome. And you throw the tuna fish sandwich back in the trash and then continue your beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this will take care of the nastiness taste that you get. This will give you a pleasant pleasant taste. So. I, I agree. I, I think holy, holy grail, but you know, just watch your wallet and drink up. This is Long Ashes and Ashtray. We're going to uh, continue to search for the holy grail of ale. See you.